Greetings, my esteemed audience. I am checking in from Paradise, aka Sweden in May. Now I'm checking in with a good meditation technique that you can try. This is the perfect time of year to try it. So May, early June, something like that, depending on where you are. So when life is blooming back again. So this is even easier for me now, what I'm about to do, what I'm about to tell you. So we're focusing on gratitude breathing in the sun and I'm supremely grateful because we've had probably the longest winter I have ever experienced and then we have over this last few weeks had pure sunshine every day it's been absolutely magical so I feel a great level of gratitude for that and now as you can see I'm checking in here I'm sitting on my nice meditation pillow palms up facing the sun breathing in the sun focusing on the sun warming my skin feeling gratitude towards that so you go into the meditation by simply breathing in the sun you can also go in to the meditation with some nadi shodana which i made a video on a while back alternate nostril breathing as you see here you can go into the meditation there and then when you have loaded up you've charged up your body via your breath then you can simply breathe normally so light nice deep breaths and just feel nature all around you. So keep focusing on the sunshine as it warms your body. Feel the wind on your skin. Listen to the birds. Listen to any other sound you might hear. And just be in this particular moment. As Wim Hof says. He says, be in this very moment. So that is basically what we're doing here. Simply going out in nature. Feeling life. Feeling mother nature. Feeling God all around you. Absorbing that energy. So you can have in um, in the gym or whichever other activity you might have. So you breathe in as much life as possible, starting with the sun. Of course, you should do this meditation when it's actually sunny outside. Uh, there are different meditation techniques you can do if the sun isn't up. You can still focus on the the wind and stuff like that. But of course, it does become more pleasant when the sun is up and um, gently caressing your skin so do try it out the technique is beautiful in its simplicity simply focus on your body focus on how how the sun makes you feel how the wind makes you feel how the birds make you feel so at this particular place i'm checking in from right here i often hear a lot of birds so you can try to listen to those you can listen to the wind as well so instead of letting your thoughts wander to what you need to do when you get back home or what you need to do tomorrow or what sort of stress might torment you just focus on the here and now focus on the divine blessing of being alive feel gratitude for being alive feel gratitude for having two working lungs feel gratitude for having the opportunities to sit in nature because you know some people they don't have this luxury that um, that you might have or that I have right now that you can simply go out in nature to breathe to just live to just be so uh, many different ways to feel gratitude and of course if you feel gratitude you activate your heart chakra which is very good to um, to do for optimal health and happiness now you can of course also gently wander about if you have a nice beautiful landscape so you see i have a quite a nice horizon here nothing that compares to a mountain landscape of course but it's a it's a very pleasant and gentle place here and you might notice that i am barefoot as well and i do this to ground max i'm grounding and that has been shown via the science you can listen to the science or you can listen to common sense the esoteric knowledge of mother earth so if you go barefoot on earth it's good for your body it's good for your spirit as well so that's something you can think of whenever you have the opportunity to take off your shoes and simply walk about on um, on the beautiful face of mother earth so you can call this sun worship you can call this worship of mother earth and then perhaps you're a christian and say that you only worship god but these are god's creations also so it's all good now of course i'm not a christian i'm a pagan so for me there's no issue with worshiping all of these entities but that's simply what you can do and keep in mind the gratitude you feel towards all of these things now since we are on the topic i want to quote from the temple of cosmos that i wrote a book review on a while back so I'm quoting now from an inscription of the Battle of Kadesh. I quote, I was like Ra when he rises at dawn. My rays, they burned the rebels' bodies. 
They called out to another, Beware, take care, don't approach him. Anyone who goes to approach him, fire's breath comes to burn his body. Thereupon they stood at a distance, kissing the ground before me. Now I will quote the legendary Sufi mystic Rumi, and I quote, As you breathe in, breathe in to the felt awareness of your entire body. As you breathe out, feel your whole body exhaling. As you breathe in, let yourself feel every single cell in your body. As you breathe out, let yourself dissolve and merge into the outer world. Feel your gratitude for being alive, for having life given to you so freely each and every moment in the air you breathe. Gratitude towards the world is the natural feeling state of someone in love. So, do try it out and remember that not everyone is so fortunate as to be able to go out in nature to absorb the divine sunlight to be imbued by the power of the sun and the blessings of Mother Earth. And if you do try it, I can almost guarantee that you will feel a great sense of joy if you truly connect with the outer world. Now, do check out all the links in the description box below. Do read Dauntless, do read Demigod Mentality. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. I will see you in the next video. XOXO, boom!